It's no secret that the Lexington County Sheriff's Department K-9 unit is a close-knit group. With only seven handlers, they consider each other family, four-legged members included. On Tuesday, we lost one of our own when Forrest, our only bloodhound, unexpectedly died. He was just a big, friendly, slobbery, you know, slobbery dog. He loved people. He loved attention. Um, and he was he could just he could track through just about anything for his handler Nick Parker the loss is more than just missing his partner he says Forrest was capable of tracking from a piece of clothing or item and calls him the best tracker we had Ooh, we always used the best tool for the job and if the track was going to be the start was really hard or the environment was really urban we always relied on Forrest um, if there was a runaway or an elderly person missing we relied on Forrest he really came in when, when other people couldn't pick it up and, and start, and we could bring Forrest in, and he would do it for us. Dr. Amy Spees cares for all of our canines and says Forrest's sudden death was due to a stomach torsion, meaning it twisted. She says it isn't uncommon, but it is often deadly. This condition can come on very, very quickly. Uh, we see it in large, deep-chested breeds of dog which, of course, he is. And Forrest's death is only the latest hit to our canine unit. Dr. Spees has been working on Belgian Malinois Beatty after she and the VCA Surgery Center confirmed he had developed discospondylitis. That infection comes through the blood from somewhere else in the body. A lot of times you never know exactly where the infection came from, but the bacteria lodge in the um, in the bones of the spine. The infection causes extreme pain for a dog and even paralysis if not caught early. Dr. Spees credits handler Adam Clayton with noticing the symptoms early on. He's doing very well, but he is um, still got a little ways to go and we don't want to ask him to do, you know, a job that's going to be painful for him. So unfortunately, as a result of all of that, um, he's now retired. Now we're left with six dogs to cover more than 700 square miles of county. We're always working because of that. Um, if somebody's down or their dog's down, then we have to fill the slack. So it, it helps when we everybody has a dog and has a dog that can work. The county really needs to stay up to eight dogs. I would, I would love to see many more dogs in the county because I think they are a valuable resource. It may be a few tough weeks as the unit adjusts, but they'll continue to move forward while honoring the work of Forrest and Beatty. For the Lexington County Sheriff's Department, I'm Colby Gallagher.